The Gripen E, a game changer for the Philippines, or a fiscal black hole waiting to happen? Forget what you think you know about national defense budgets. We're ripping open the books to expose the raw truth about what it really takes for the Philippines to secure its skies and how the grip and E factors into this high-stakes equation. Can the Philippines truly defend its vast maritime territory with the air power it currently possesses? It's a question that keeps military analysts and policymakers up at night. Stretching across more than 7,000 islands and facing increasing regional tensions, the Philippine skies are both vast and vulnerable. Recent geopolitical flashpoints in the South China Sea have made one thing painfully clear. The nation's current fleet of jets and patrol aircraft may not be enough to meet modern defense challenges. Every incursion, every standoff underscores the urgent need for enhanced air capabilities. This is where the Gripen E enters the conversation. A fighter jet with the latest avionics, superior maneuverability, and multi-role capabilities. But can this game-changing aircraft realistically fit into the Philippines' strategic and budgetary framework? Stick around, because we're about to dive deep into the numbers, the politics, and the high-stakes decisions shaping the future of Philippine air power. The Gripen E isn't just another fighter jet. It's a technological powerhouse designed to punch well above its weight. Equipped with a superior ASA radar system, an advanced electronic warfare suite, and sensors that give pilots unprecedented situational awareness, this aircraft can operate in highly contested environments where older jets might struggle. Globally, the Gripen E has attracted attention from nations facing similar defense challenges, countries with vast territories, budget constraints, and regional tensions. From Sweden to Brazil and even potential deals in Asia, these nations see it as a cost-effective yet highly capable solution. When we compare it to the Philippine Air Force's current fleet, the difference is stark. The F-A-50s, while reliable for training and limited combat missions, cannot match the Gripen E's advanced radar, electronic warfare capabilities, or extended operational range. Even when stacked against other contenders like the F-16 or Jazz 39CD, the Gripen E offers a compelling mix of performance and lower operating costs, a key consideration for a country balancing modernization needs with fiscal reality. In short, the Gripen E doesn't just promise enhanced air power, it presents a financially sustainable path to modernizing the Philippine Air Force without sacrificing cutting-edge capabilities. But the real question remains, is this the right strategic move for the nation's unique challenges? The dream of modernizing the Philippine Air Force collides with a stark reality, the defense budget. For decades, funding has been limited, with modernization often taking a back seat to more immediate national priorities. In 2025, the Philippine government allocated approximately 51.6 billion pesos to the Air Force, a significant uptick from previous years, but only a fraction of that is earmarked for modernization. When compared to regional peers, the numbers reveal the challenge. While countries like Vietnam or Singapore invest heavily in cutting-edge aircraft, the Philippines must carefully balance modernization ambitions with fiscal realities. Acquiring a fleet of Gripen E-Jets is not just a military decision, it's an economic one. Each aircraft represents millions of dollars in acquisition, training, and maintenance. Stretched too far, and other critical national programs could feel the squeeze. But invest wisely, and the nation gains not just superior air power, but a credible deterrent that can shape regional dynamics. The question then isn't whether the Philippines can afford the grip and E, it's whether it can balance ambition with practicality, securing the skies without compromising the nation's broader priorities. Acquiring advanced aircraft is only part of the equation. How does the Gripen E fit into the Philippines' broader defense posture? Strategically, its multi-role capabilities could plug critical gaps in both air and maritime security. With its cutting-edge radar and electronic warfare suite, the Gripen E could significantly enhance maritime domain awareness.
In contested waters, this translates to stronger deterrence. Potential adversaries know the Philippine Air Force can detect, track, and respond quickly to incursions. But integration isn't without challenges. Supporting a modern fighter fleet requires robust logistics, upgraded air bases, and highly trained personnel. Maintenance systems, spare parts supply chains, and pilot readiness all need careful planning. Without these, even the most advanced jet can't reach its full potential. In essence, the Gripen E isn't just a jet, it's a force multiplier. But realizing its full impact means aligning strategy, infrastructure, and training. Done right, it could redefine the Philippines' air power. Done poorly, it risks being a costly, underutilized asset. Even with its cutting-edge capabilities, acquiring the Gripen E won't be straightforward. Political hurdles loom large, and public debate over defense spending is intense. Critics question whether millions invested in fighter jets could be better spent on healthcare, infrastructure, or disaster preparedness. Strategically, the Gripen E could be complemented by alternative investments, enhanced radar networks, coastal surveillance systems, and integrated command and control infrastructure. Together, these measures maximize the jet's impact, ensuring every peso spent strengthens both deterrence and situational awareness. As the Philippines charts its defense trajectory, the choices made today will shape the nation's security for decades. Will leadership embrace the Gripen E as the cornerstone of a modern, credible air force, or will fiscal and political constraints limit its potential? The skies are vast, the stakes are high, and the clock is ticking. Strategically, the Gripen E could fill critical gaps in air and maritime defense. Its advanced radar and electronic warfare capabilities enhance maritime domain awareness and deterrence in contested waters. Yet, integration demands upgraded bases, trained personnel, and robust logistics. Done right, it's a force multiplier. Done poorly, it's just an expensive paperweight. Political hurdles and public debate will shape the decision. Complementary investments, radar networks, surveillance drones, and command infrastructure could maximize the grip and ease potential. The critical question remains, Will the Philippines embrace this advanced fighter as the centerpiece of a modern air force, or will constraints limit its reach? The skies are vast, the stakes high, and the clock is ticking. The future of Philippine air power is at a crossroads, and the Gripen E could very well hold the keys to dominance in the skies. What do you think? Should the Philippines take the leap? Comment below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into defense, strategy, and aviation. Skyjet Wings, signing off. Until the next mission.